I'm Elise and welcome to My Cupcake Addiction where today I'm going to be showing you how to make a gorgeous, super simple, pull apart popsicle ice cream cake. I love this idea, it's easy to make, really easy to serve and the kids are going to absolutely love it. You're going to need some good quality ice cream. I went with vanilla, chocolate and strawberry and get the best quality ice cream that you can find for this. I've also got a spatula and a couple of spoons. For garnishing and decorations, I've got some melted chocolate, some crushed nuts and some sprinkles, but you can use whatever you like here. I've also got some popsicle sticks. And for my tray today, I'm using a loaf pan. So you want something that's sort of quite deep and quite long to get that really popsicle sort of feel for your cake. Let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is you want to take your first colour. So for me, that's strawberry and I'm really let that soften. So it's been out on the bench for about half an hour or so just to let it soften down. I've scooped that into my loaf pan and then I'm just going to use my spatula to smooth it off so it's as even as possible. You want to pop that off into the freezer. This doesn't need to be set rock solid, about half an hour to 45 minutes just so that it starts to firm up so that we can do our next layer. With your first layer semi-set, you can scoop in your second layer and try to use about the same amount of ice cream here so you get really nice even layers. When your centre layer has semi-set, you want to repeat that process with your third layer, which for me is the chocolate. And I've used about a half a litre of ice cream for each of my layers. Before that goes into the freezer, insert your popsicle sticks and make sure that they go down into that centre layer that's semi-firm so they're held in place nicely. Perfect. Now that's going to go off into the freezer to set for at least 12 hours. I would make this definitely the day before, maybe even two. You do want that ice cream to be really, really firmly set so that when we chop these popsicles up, they're really, really easy to serve and they don't melt too quickly. To remove your popsicle cake from your loaf pan, I just filled my sink with some warm water and then you just want to dip it right down to the rim but make sure no water goes into the actual cake for about three seconds. Bring it out, get rid of any excess water, and then you just need to break the seal because the ice cream is going to be kind of suctioned onto the loaf tin a little bit. So I'm just running my knife down either edge and then tilt it over and gently and evenly use those popsicle sticks to just slide it out. Perfect. Slide it onto your serving tray and you want to do this just prior to serving because it is ice cream and it is going to melt. To serve your popsicles, slice them off and hand them out to your guests. You can serve them plain or you can provide your guests with some of that melted chocolate and some of those nuts and sprinkles and let them decorate their own popsicles, particularly popular with the kids. If you love this idea, make sure you subscribe to My Cupcake Addiction for lots more in the way of sweet and delicious treats. And as always, thanks very much for watching.